Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Rodeo Time. We uh, just got done doing some interviews with uh, the Wright brothers, and now we're gonna have a little spur board session. Um, our man Stetson is gonna come in and help Willie, Ty. I have been helping him a lot. You know, like, it's not that I don't know. You know, it's not that I'm not the greatest by any means. That's not it. It's just that, you know, sometimes if you hear from someone else, it just helps, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not that he knows more than me or nothing. Cause he does, you know, cause I'm right here. Donnie, show him. You see it right there. This, this year. year. Doesn't say last year, does it? Mm -mm. It doesn't. My, how not long it's been. My, how recent it's mm -hmm. been. Where, do you, where would you start if you're coming in here? On that or this? The old buck ride. Would you use a flank rope or an elastic band? Is there something you prefer? That's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. That is exactly, like, toes are just in. He's been really just kind of losing his old feet about the third or fourth jump. You got to make sure it's Tuesday every day. Wow, mate, please. Toes out Tuesday. Oh, okay. I was confused. I was like, is there something I'm not picking up here? Trying to keep your calf into it. So like, like that? Yeah. And then when they're bucking, it'll drop. Yes, sir. Should I have them my, like, my toes out? Should I have them more pointed down like that? Or should I have Well, that'll go down when you're riding. But like in the chute, when you're getting ready? Yes, sir. You're going to keep it spur out of them. Okay. And then right when you're not. Yes, sir. Drop your toe down. Okay. I think you twist it. Twist it? <laughs> How do you feel about that as a training uniform? I mean, like, should they be wearing it out or change it up? Can they get on it too much? I think you can get on too much because if you ride till you're tired, you start forming bad habits. I think ride it for 10 seconds, three or four times, and then I'd just be done. Do it every day? I, I would do it every day. I think this thing's got the basics, the up and down. One thing I see a lot of kids doing on these is riding them like it's turning back, throwing their arm over their head. Mm -hmm. If you can ride a bull going straight, you can ride it turn back too. Jump up to the top. I'm still nursing it going. I pulled it a little bit when you lucked out. I wasn't gonna get on the bed, but excuse me? Man. Out. Yeah, and on, I'd say on most bulls, like you don't need to crawl clear out on over them. Mm -hmm. It's just like a little break of the hips. If you watch all them really good guys, they just barely break of the hips. Because if you get too far up there, your feet want to come backwards. That's, that's how and then, I've been coming off. Then when they turn back and stuff, that's the first thing that goes. So it's just a little break of the hips to keep all your weight on your legs. So I'm, I'm going like when I, when I come up, when I come over the top of it, I'm just I'm going over too much. Is that kind of yeah, and I would just turn your toes out, use, and then right when you're going out over them, if it feels like your feet are coming, you're going too far. Okay. So it's just a little, and just keep your toes turned down. Yeah, that's second ready. Yeah. 
I just don't have the, the muscle memory yet to keep on keep them pointing out. I'm going to have to work on that. Yeah, turn them out right now. Here, right how you are, and then I'll start it. Like this. And then keep focusing on turning them out. I can feel it. Like, is it hurting your groin? Huh? Is it hurting your groin? Yeah, I mean a little bit, but like I can feel the, with my toes out, it feels completely different than riding with my, because I've been really bad about having my toes right. Like it feels right, I just don't have the muscles for it yet to stay. Well, but I, think that, I feel what you're saying. That's what these are for, is it? Yeah. Because on a bull, you don't have time to think. Right. It's reaction by then. So this is where you get down your, you said you haven't got the muscle memory for it yet. Yes, this sir. is where you practice that, so then it turns into a reaction instead of having to think about it. Yes, sir. Your spurs buy you as many chances as you want if you can keep your toes turned out. Like all them great bull riders, they all turn their toes out good. Yeah, I felt it like as soon as, because I, I am really bad about having my toes straight, but I feel a lot more contact, like with my legs all around too. So. Yeah. What do you normally do when you think about, like, we went to Cody Custer's, and was like lifting up through your shoulders. Now JB said it's kind of like a dumbbell, like you're doing like bicep curls. What do you do? See, and lifting on a rope. I think that it's a lot like bronc riding. You're not trying to rip the rope off the back of them. Like when they kick, you sit down under it, but it's just enough to get your hips back under you. Because if you're prying all the time, then you can't get back to the front. You're yes, sir. Down here. Yes, sir. So it's just as a give or take. That one's kind of getting on. Yeah, getting on, learning what to use, what not to use. Yes, sir. And I think a lot of them bore riders that do schools that haven't been on in a while, they kind of try to remember what they used to do. I know a lot of them guys, they did the give or take too. They, mm -hmm. they were good at riding and it doesn't come from trying to rip your rope. Yes, sir. I was just confused because I know that's what people were saying, just lift on it the whole time. But then when you go to set your hips, I feel like I lift on it and I'll just bring my back up and I get on my butt. That's so what... on a little bull, just flat as heck going into your hand. Yes, yeah, sir. you just kind of sit there and let them pack you, but bucking bulls, <laughs> you, I it's just anything, give yeah. or take. Yes, sir. But, well, and even on something jump kicking, them are the best ones to learn on. Carson Sanders, how many have you been on, 15? Yep. He came to y'all's school, that was maybe like, what, nine through 12? I got six. At the school? Yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah. Yeah, more than three. Yeah. But anyway, you, you, yeah, you only got on like maybe five or six here, mm -hmm. and then you went there. shoulders like get away from the key off that rain. You got the right idea just yeah. kind of doing it a little bit the wrong way. Yeah. Okay. Just get, when you get back keep your shoulders like square and then just lean a little bit away from it. Don't don't go like this. Okay. Just kind of keep it square and then just get away from it. And get your elbow out of touch more. Like you're kind of like this just a little bit more. All right. Lean, lean this way a little bit. Yeah. Go. So like take my whole upper body and kind yeah, of... Yeah, just, yeah, you just kind of key away from just a touch. Okay. When you throw your feet, stretch your free arm. Like... You know, just when you, yes, you're you going to do that on a horse, it's just good to... And the only reason you don't want to twist your shoulders, because you twist your shoulders, like, you see my hips twist, and then you take weight out of that stir this stirrup, and then you're, all your weight's in this stirrup, or whatever, we, you're right-handed. And then you stirrup as long as you kick the stirrup off, or sit on it further. Just try to stay as square as you can. Seth, you can keep it in right there right now? Uh, no. <laughs>
talk yeah, about. Yeah, you don't want to lean, you don't want to get over so far you're hanging on your rein. It just kind of to, I don't know, just so you can get rocked into it. Once you get rocked in, then you can't lift. This is just, you know, just getting over yeah, just sure. a little bit. See, staying square is fine too. You know, just staying dead square. But it just seems like that just helps you a little bit. Like when I'm getting on a horse, that, I'm left handed. When I'm getting on a horse that leaves to the right, I'm, I lean over there just a little bit more than I normally would. That way, when you leave, it just whips me into square, or, or and then I try to get away from it again. Maybe right now, just think about staying square. Just try not to get into your rein at all. He looked good other than that. Doesn't it look really good? Do you guys, is your, your rein uh, stirrup a smidge shorter? A touch, yeah. Just a touch. Sometimes it seems like I get it way shorter on accident, but usually my rein, my rein side's a little bit shorter than even or shorter. So we also, like that spur board, that saddle's just sitting on it, but we get on that spur board with no saddle. Like when I first started, Jacobs was like, yeah, I've never put my saddle on a spur board. And so like, I just started getting on a spur board like that, but just the rain. I think I was talking to you about it. Mm -hmm. And um, and then like years later, I saw his, went to his house and a spur board had a saddle on it and he acted like he didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this. You gotta tell me when you change these things. But anyway, so we, we do both, but I didn't know if you thought that was silly to, to I mean, maybe one of us should get on it and just to show you. I don't see what, what it's hurting. I think it's making you use your, your you really wear out your core when you're yeah. um, and staying back and you're having to stay square to stay on that thing. I don't think it's a, It's easy to fall off of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you need to say? Just don't overdo it like anything yeah, else? Don't make yourself tired and then get hanging on your rein or something and then make sure you're doing things right. Don't make yourself tired. That's what's bad about bucket machines. You get on it, they're fun, but you get on it too many times, start to make yourself tired and you start doing. I've never gotten along. Yeah, personally. I've honestly never really rode a spur board either. I put it on there maybe once or twice. I mean, I've never really rode a spur board, but I also had the luxury of having a ton of practice horses. So. How many a week did you get on practicing when you were getting started? Two every day, except for on Sunday. Every, every day? Every day. Hell yeah. But <laughs> I got on a lot yeah. of practice horses. What about you other guys? We, I got on when I wanted to. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, sometimes if we didn't do high school like regular. Three days a week, I'd get on a couple. I had, to, have, I had to work out a lot Rusty harder. had a lot of shitty colts. <laughs> yeah. We had some older, nice ones. And it took me a while <clears> to get it, to get a hang of it. I was a slow learner. I had to get on a lot more. Still learning, still slowly learning. But I also started on the steers, which he didn't do that. Yeah, I went straight. How many did you get on there? Oh, Quite a few. Yeah, quite a few. We, well, I high school rodeo, or not high school, junior high rodeo, for, where they do it for two years. Nice. Yeah, so, I mean, what, there's not very many junior high rodeos. Yeah, but it seemed like every time we'd go buck and we had okay. steers, they'd get on the Bronx saddle on the steers. Statler, what about you? I did the same. I didn't get on any steers. I got on a, this bucking horses Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Saddle horses, too, loping around. Yeah, that's the hardest thing I think I've ever done, is get on a saddle horse. They're way harder to spur. My dad always said, if you, can run, if you can spur a runner, you can spur a bucket. Well, that is all super helpful information. Well, Dale, yeah? You want to go buck some stock? Yeah.